Okay, we're still getting oh, lots, lots, lots and lots of comments, comments in, in about this. Um, Anna says, Nadia's honesty makes me feel like I'm not the only one with a poor relationship with food. I wasn't aware of Overeater Anonymous. I know you've spoken about that quite a bit, Nadia, mm. haven't you? But it may save my life, as the doctors have been no help at all. So. Mm. Um, also, somebody talked about food phobias in relation to Harry Hanna saying, I grew up with a food phobia. I haven't really heard anyone else with it until today. So glad it's been brought to attention for others. Mm. Um, I've got some here on the alcohol. Um, my mum, uh, Gemma says, my mum is an alcoholic and her marriage to my dad failed. It's just poison and it's hard seeing someone you love become something that's not them. Um, Ollie says, I'm 27 and I've had a problem with alcohol since my brother died when I was 12 mm. and my mum when I was 21. Now my partner of 10 years has left me. I'm homeless and all down to alcohol. God bless you, darling. Mm. Susan, I spent 14 years with my ex who is an alcoholic. We met when I was 17 and it was all good fun at first, but 11 years after we split, he still goes on benders and at 54 he's never had a job. There's so mm. many different stories. Mm. I know, yeah. So. Really, really tough. Like, like I've, I've said earlier as well, we've got some information on our website as well if you or someone that you know could do with a little helping hand.